Hello, this is Sanjay Sani from Sani's Academy of Statistics. From this video onwards, some few more videos, I am going to demonstrate about NIME analytics platform, K-N-I-M-E, NIME, which provides you options for building machine learning models with a click and drag method. Let's see them. To begin with, let me introduce you to the window of this NIME platform. Version 4.6.1 we are exploring. Here you can see the welcome screen. Well, and also you need to create your own workflows. Let us first of all create one workflow file then go to new or you may you may do one more thing of clicking over here and selecting for new nine workflow now to begin with i want to demonstrate with simple linear regression or rather multiple linear regression so over here i am going to name it as linreg once this this particular workflow page gets created we see a bank screen related to that now over here you have got a load node repository node repository there is a big variety in node repository we have io file input output nodes data manipulation nodes views nodes analytics nodes in which we actually see the machine learning options and many more to begin with i am going to import one data set and that data set is a boston housing data set commonly known data set for all of us so over here the data set is located in one of my folders which is in the data sets folder now we are going to import this data set boston.csv into our environment now we will first of all select the reader and that to the csv reader this csv reader i click and drag over here now in this workflow once i do this i get one red light red light means you cannot run that particular node as it is you require to configure that node or you require some few more options to be configured on it hence we right click first of all on that particular node and click on configure button then i choose with the with the browse button well i can choose the file so here i have selected the file here it is here it is and now i am going to click on open which will show the path and then click on ok which will actually import that particular file into our csv reader now as i have imported as soon as i have imported you will see that my red light has been changed to yellow light means what it's ready to run now if you are want to run it means what it is just like in the scikit-learn so counterpart scikit-learn program i am showing you over here scikit-learn and pandas well say you import this and you you do the read csv okay the way you read csv over here the same operation we are going to do with csv reader okay this this yellow light indicates that it is all set to run and once you run once you run then only you get the the object in the variables explorer variables explorer or that object gets available to you in the same way over here we are going to run this or we are going to execute this particular node once this node is executed we can see in the file table the entire data set which is there with us okay now after 
we have imported then we select the variables for feature variable for response in the same way i am going to do it over here in my line window so to begin with first of all i am going to select over here my linear regression node my linear regression node happens to be this node okay which happens to be inside the node folder linear polynomial regression i will drag it over here this learner does the job equivalent to that of our dot fit function dot fit function in our scikit learn okay so hence i am going to join these two nodes once i join these two nodes we see over here that my red light has been changed into yellow light but still we require to see whether the correct variables have been specified for features and for response so i right click and again click on configure and ensure that my my correct by default what happens is the rightmost column gets chosen as the target variable or response variable but still we need to confirm whether it is it has happened or not and then our options are including all the variables let's include all the variables and now i am clicking on ok it's ready to get executed now and now i am going to execute it once it gets executed with this particular square uh, output point we can right right click on it and we can see the coefficients and statistics related to it so you can see the coefficients you can confirm those coefficients by running the same code through scikit-learn in this way you do dot fit and then you can see the coefficients as you see the coefficients the the intercept is 36.45 and or over here also we get the intercept as 36.45 in this way we can execute the simple linear regression with nine platform thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel thank you